Did you have sex with her? It could mean all of those. But niktaha means specifically. Usama, <laughs> I'm recording. The Muslims who speak Arabic will be laughing at you. So jama'a, jama'tuha, it's coming from the word the groups. Why do Muslims in Islam have sex in groups? The Prophet of Islam did not use the F word. This word is a bad word today, but it's not a bad, it wasn't a bad word 1500 years ago, okay? It developed into a bad word by the people of today, okay? Again, answer this for me, please. Just answer it, Mr. Christian Prince. Answer this, and I will keep silent, okay? With your honesty, with your clear conscience, with your full integrity, if you have any, does the word, does or doesn't, Mr. Christian Prince, the Arabic word jama'ah, Jama'a, okay? Does it mean group of people or not? Please answer this and give me back the mic without lecturing because I have not finished yet. The mic is yours. You know, uh, you know, Osama, you are the same one who do not know the difference between feel and meal. Jama'a have nothing to do with jama'a. And you know what? Everyone who speak Arabic who will watch this debate, he will laugh at you big time. Uh, remember folks, he said, will laugh at me big time. What the word jama'a with jama'a? Jama'a is a verb, is an action, fa'al. Jama'a is a name, is a word mean a group. So now according to this expert in stupidity, the English words lead and leader, teach and teacher, speak and speaker also have nothing to do with each other. So they have absolutely no relationship with each other whatsoever. Nouns and verbs now have absolutely no relationships with each, with each other. Jama have nothing to do with it. It's a totally different word. It is mean sex only. Have no other meaning. So when people now who they are Arab Muslims, they will watch this video, they will laugh at you. And listen, I can give you right now the Islamic dictionary. You put the word there and you will see the whole meaning. And everybody will laugh at you. And I want to ask you a question, Usama. Until now, you did not read the hadith for us, by the way. Our debate, all of it, it's about this hadith because I want you with your perfect English to read the hadith, all of it, with the explanation to the room. I will give you the mic. I want you please to read the hadith with the translation to the room. And then we will hit the point right away. From the hadith. And we will put our point from there. If you are allowed really in Islam to have sex with animals or not? Your mic. I'm counting down the minutes until I can be with you again. Uh, jama'a and jama'a. Okay, obviously you're, uh, you're, you're playing games with Arabic. It's like for instance, khataba means spoke. Uh, okay, uh, khataba and khataba. Okay, or khatb. Khatb means talking or speech. Okay, and khataba means he talked. Okay, jama'a and jama'a. It's the same thing. It's Arabic uh, uh, rules of grammar. What the hell are you talking about? Now you're playing dumb in front of your non-Arabic speaking people. Okay, jama'a ja, jama ja, jama means group of people. The word, the Arabic word for jama'a, which you are saying the Prophet should have used, okay, means, means, it does mean sexual intercourse. That's one of its meanings. But it's not a precise meaning. It is not a precise meaning. It has a, a other, several other meanings. But niktaha is a, is a precise meaning. It means, it doesn't even mean sexual, uh, oral sex or anything. It means sexual intercourse. Okay? Which is why today it was developed into an F word or a bad word. Okay? But 1500 years ago it was not. It was a scientific word for sex. Okay? It, it was a word that expressed specific sex, intercourse, okay?
So again, I don't know what you have proven besides just uh, ranting and talking loud. Mr. Prince, please, for God's sake, let me make my point. Okay? Please. You said that the Prophet of Islam, I will get to your point on, on uh, I will read the hadith in English, which I have read already initially in this debate in Arabic, and I translated it. Okay? Which reads here, um, here, let me get it. I'm sorry. Uh, it, see, it says, إِذَا جَلَسَ بَنَى شُعَابُهَا الْأَرْبَعْ ثُمَّ جَهَادَهَا فَقَدْ وَجَبَ عَلَيْهِ الْغُسْلِ I just read it for you initially in the, in the beginning of the debate. Okay? I will get to this, which means, translates, if he sits between her four shu'ab, her four straight ones, and he ejaculates in her, then he must wash. And I brought you, sir, a hadith from Sahih Bukhari. Here it is. Sahih Bukhari. Okay? Right here. <clears throat> Man, I'm losing my voice. All because of you, Christian Prince. Um... Sahih Bukhari, Volume 1, Book 5, number, Narration Number 290. It says, Narrated Abu Huraira. The Prophet says, When a man sits between the woman's four shu'ab, that, and he has sexual intercourse with her, then he must wash, he must bathe. Okay? Read the hadith for us if you don't believe me. Okay? I have already refuted you on this. Now, um, <clears throat> man, I'm really losing my voice. I'm sorry. Um, what was I saying? Yes, you said that, the, the marriage of four women, I have not responded to this point because you kept cutting me off, Mr. Prince. And I appreciate that you're letting me speak now. Okay, thank you. Please. Uh, you said that the Allah Almighty had preference to the Prophet of Islam and made him marry four women, uh, or more than four women. Okay? I told you the Prophet had uh, already had more than four wives when Allah Almighty forbade uh, 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 the Prophet from having, uh, any, any Muslim from having more than four women. But even in the Bible, there are preferences to the leaders. Okay, if I may, if you please let me, okay, read this for you from the Bible, okay, then this will make it clearer for you. Okay, in, Le in Leviticus, book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verses 5 through 8, it says here about the priests, the priests only, okay, not any Jew, not any person, just the priests, they must not marry a woman defiled by prostitution or divorced by, from their husbands. Because priests are holy to their God. Okay, so priests cannot even marry divorced women. In Leviticus, here another one. Chapter 21, verses 13 through 15. He, the priest, must not marry a widow. Listen to me carefully. I ask you to read the hadith. To the end with the explanation. Can you do that please? Uh, I will gladly do that and expose you as a liar once more, Mr. Prince. But I was making my point on preferential uh, treatment to, to, to the Prophet. And I was proving to you that even in the Bible, priests okay, and prophets do also have that treatment. They're above the regular ordinary humans. Okay? And I was, I was just giving these examples which you cut me off because you know, you, know, you know my point, but you're just a coward. Anyway, I'm just going to give the verses here. Okay, and I uh, hope you don't cut me off. Okay, Leviticus chapter 21, verses 13 and 15. And here, Ezekiel chapter 44, verses 21 through 22. Okay, they say that... Osama, Osama in Christianity, you know, when we say elders, it means elders. In Islam, when you say elders, you mean who? This is the translation in English. This is an article of news. Elders in there is made by an English man. In Sudan, there is no word that's called elder. It is shiyukh, you know that, correct? Who is the elder of Islam? Shiyukh. And the shiyukh, when they order a man to marry a god, they make the order according to what? Answer me. According to USA law? According to Argentina law? Or according to Monica Lewinsky law? Your mind. Uh, elders in Arabic, which you're playing stupid now on, means the leaders of the tribe or the ha elders of the family. Your grandfather is your elder. Your father is your elder. Okay? But they might, may not necessarily be religious leaders. Okay? They, might, they could be not normal people. Okay? They do not, they do not represent religious leaders. Uh, now, I know, I know you will cut me off because that's all you can do. That's all you can do. You first of all lied and fabricated the lie by saying that the Sudanese government ordered him. 
I just expose you as a liar by reading it and, 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 and showing everybody that it says elders, the elders of the family, of the tribe, okay? Not the religious leaders. All the, all the religious le leaders do is pray and lead people to prayer. Where, where it says the elder of the family? Show me that. I did not see it. I want to see that. The elder of the family? Show me that. M maybe I have a problem with my eyes. Go ahead. Show me, please. Read. Um, if you post the link again, I will happily, I will gladly again to, uh, refute you as a liar on it because you don't just have a, 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 a problem with your eyes. You have a problem with your with everything. You, you're blind in faith, Mr. Prince. Okay. This is not an insult to you. This is an advice. Okay. Now you're playing word games in Arabic and English. Elder. Everybody knows what elders is in English. Everybody. Now you're you're coming up with a unique, brand new meaning to it. Okay. Never in English. Is your prophet is the elder for Muslims?